Okay, so this is one of the more fun sections of Mac that we're going to have a look at, and it's dictation. So dictation is where you can speak to your Mac and it will type out for you. So this is a, is a very good feature of the Mac. It works very well, as opposed to other ones. Windows tried it and it wasn't that good, but Apple really have a good hold on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Apple icon up the very top left hand corner and down to the system preferences. So once you go into system preferences, always, as I say in most lectures, always make sure you're on the latest version because sometimes things will be in different places. They may change it from um, operating system versions. So just make sure you're on the latest version. So I'm going to go into the keyboard section here first. And then over on the right hand side at the top, we have a tab here called dictation. So I'm going to click on the dictation tab. You can see here at the minute, the microphone there is um, finding my voice. You can see it's, it's picking up my voice. I've selected my um, external microphone, but your internal microphone on your Mac will pick it up just perfect. Or even if you're someone that ha has an iPhone, the the microphone on your iPhone earphones will pick it up perfect too. It will connect into your Mac. So the first thing we need to do is we need to click Dictation On. And it's going to come up and it's going to say, do you want to enable dictation? And we say, yes, enable dictation. Now, I would always tell people to use this enhanced dictation. I'm going to click it. It's going to try to download now. There's a, you can see there it's a 422 megabyte file. So it's downloading it here. And what that does is it allows for offline use. It means that if you're on a bus, you can use it. Not that you may, might want to, but if you were somewhere where you may not have um, online access, you can still use your dictation without um, doing it. It gives you live feedback. Another very important thing is your language. As you can probably tell by now, I have a very thick accent. Um, and they don't have an Irish um, accent here. Well, at least they didn't have. I don't think they will have now. I'll try it and see. No, they haven't got it yet. So I have to use um, United Kingdom, England. And you can see here it's downloading 47%. So what that does is it makes sure that it's getting the right things for me. Because some of the words that I pronounce will be different than someone that's living in America or in India or Australia or Canada or somewhere else or Spain. So what it does is it's a different dialect and it does a pretty good job even though I'm using a, a language that isn't my native country it still does a good enough job at picking it up. Now it, it's downloading there so what I'll do is I'll wait for it to download, I'll speed it up in post-production and once it's downloaded we can get playing with it then and do it. Okay so we'll see you back in a few minutes. Okay, so it's after going through, it downloaded the whole package there. It was 400 megabytes. didn't take too long to download here. Obviously, depending on your internet speed, it will take longer. Um, and what we do is then, so we have it added. We've the thing added, and here we have use enhanced dictation is on there. So what it does is it allows offline use and continuous dictation. So if that's not ticked, if that box isn't ticked, when you speak, it has to go to the internet and then come back and type it out. So it's constantly analyzing what you're saying. But by downloading that file, what you're doing is you're getting everything on your Mac. That it's a lot quicker. It's always going to happen quicker. So we have the language selected here. The other thing we have is the shortcut. Now, I always leave this as default. It's the FN key down the bottom of your keyboard. And we press the FN key twice to start it. So it's just tip, tip to start. And tip, tip to finish whenever you're finished doing it. So I'm going to close out of that. We have everything set up that we need and I'm going to go into any word processing application, open it up, it doesn't have to be Microsoft Word and we want to press the FN key and what that will do is it will start the dictation process. So we press it twice to start it, twice to finish it. So we press the FN key twice. You can see it pops up there on the right hand side and it's dictating for me. So as I speak, my computer will type out for me. I can say things like new line, new paragraph. So I had to stop talking there because everything I tried to say it kept typing out for me. So you can see straight away out of the box it works. I haven't had to teach that. I haven't had to 
uh, trainer with my voice. It's an Irish accent, quite thick Irish accent, speaking to an, an English UK dictionary, and it allows me to speak out and to, to do it. And if I wanted, I could do now. I'm going to have to stop talking now in a second because it's obviously going to type out what I say. But once I press the FN key twice, I'll say a a bit of text and I'll go on to a new line. I'll say full stop, comma, or whatever I need to say and it will do it for me. So I'll go ahead now. The man went to the shop to buy some bread. Full stop. New line. You can see that it has picked up some of the words wrong. Comma. Because it's coming to terms with a different accent. Full stop. So, you can see there, it's only picked up that one word wrong, demand instead of demand, and I'm probably more to blame for that than Apple is. So you can see that it's going to be good. If you were someone coming from America, speaking with an American accent to an American dictionary, it's going to have no problems with you. If you're someone from Canada with a Canadian dictionary or a Canadian accent, it's going to have no problems, and so on. I'm just in the situation that I'm in, the, the country I'm in, small enough that we don't have our own dictionary on Apple just yet. Someday we may have... But you can see that there. If the, Once dictation is on, you don't need to turn it on or off in the background. To turn it on, you press FN twice, and to turn it off, you press FN twice. So it, it's good in a way that if you don't use it, it doesn't affect you in any way. You don't need to, to do it. And it'll work in anything that you want to do. Okay, so that's dictation. So that's one of the more fun sections you can use. Try it out with your Mac. Do make sure that you download the enhanced dictation. It makes it a lot better and it lets it run a lot smoother. Okay, so we'll see you in the next lecture.